MDCT national chairperson Morgan Kamichi said he advised MDC Alliance leader Nelson Chamisa against appealing the high court judgment that nullified his ascendancy within the party leadership after Morgan Svangerai's death, Sim Morning Post reports. MDCT national chairperson Morgan Kamichi said he advised MDC Alliance leader Nelson Chamisa against appealing the high court judgment that nullified his ascendancy within the party leadership after Morgan Svangerai's death, Sim Morning Post reports. We had a meeting with Shelton Hwend, Mirisi Zwizwai, Amos Jubaya and Happy Morchid Ziva. We all agreed that we had to advise Chamisa not to appeal against the judgment but to correct the anomaly by holding an extraordinary congress. I had studied the judgment and discovered that issues which MDCT acting president Phil Ghazani Koub raised were serious, Kamichi said. We had violated our own constitution and all that was needed was to right the wrongs and move on. We made our presentation to Chamisa at his advocate chamber's offices. He did not respond to my advice, but invited advocate Thabani Pofu. Apine Kamichi. Pofu argued saying he had found 11 faults in the judgment so there was need for an appeal and promised that he was going to win at the Supreme Court, said Kamichi. Kamichi have also said he supported Chimisa from the onset because he knew he was popular, but he never agreed with him on the violation of the party constitution. I know Chimisa is very popular and on that basis I supported him from the onset. I stood by him, but I have always raised my concerns where the constitution was being violated. I fought the late Robert Mugabe regime over mutilation of the national constitution. I fought Emerson Nangagwa over the issue of not respecting the constitution by not holding free and fair elections. Today I am fighting leaders in my own party because they want to continue violating the constitution. How different are we from ZANU PF if we cannot respect our own constitution, he said. Kamichi said he raised his concerns with Chimisa on appointment of the party's vice presidents. Our constitution is very clear that the VPs must be elected at Congress, but he chose to appoint his cronies. Our constitution is very clear on how a president is replaced in case of death or incapacitation. We are supposed to lead by example, but we were behaving in the same manner like Zanu PF, he charged. Kamichi said he will continue to stand on principles and never sacrifice the values of the party for the sake of power. I urge all those who want to stand on principles to take a stand and never allow mutilation of our own constitution for the sake of power. We will hold an extraordinary Congress and those who want to lead will contest. We will not allow violence and dictatorship in the party, he said.